we start our new math lesson, we are going to recall and remember what we learned yesterday. So who remembers what we learned yesterday? Raise your hand. Yes, Doug. Can you remember? Fractions? Very good. We did. We started to learn about fractions. We learned not only what makes up a fraction, but we continue to learn how to add fractions and how to subtract fractions. So remember when we're adding and subtracting fractions, what has to be the same? Can anybody remember? Yes, Bobby. The denominator? Well, very good. Yes, that is correct. When we have a fraction, we have two parts. We have the numerator and then on the bottom, as Doug said, we have a denominator. And the denominator needs to be the same in order to add and to subtract. Very good. So today, moving on, we are going to learn how to multiply fractions. So we have lots to learn and lots of fun stuff to do. So to begin, let's review a little bit more, just to make sure we have a good understanding before we learn something new. So let's say we have a pizza. And this pizza has how many slices? Let's count them together. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight. eight. Eight slices of pizza. So that number becomes our denominator. Now, it's a slumber party time. And you and your friends all decide to start eating pizza. First, Amy gets a piece, then Diane gets a piece, and then Bobby gets a piece. And then we decide to take a break and watch a movie. So as of now, how many pieces did we eat out of the eight slices? Raise your hand. Yes, Ames. Three? Correct. Three. So we have three as a numerator and eight as a denominator. And so now we're going to learn today how to take a fraction like this and multiply it. And that saves us time because when we add, we could be adding very, very large numbers or very, very small numbers. And it could take a very long time like the Egyptians you could sit there and mark, 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 mark. We don't want to do that. We need to save time, so we need to learn how to multiply here. So to begin, when we multiply fractions, I'm going to give you a general rule. Most of the rules that we've learned so far in school have been easy to remember, and this one is the same. So the general rule for fractions when we multiply is you take your fraction and you multiply it. This is the time symbol, multiply. C over D. The rule is A goes straight across to C, multiplied, and B goes straight across to D, multiplied. So you have A times C over B times D. This is what we call the general rule. Now, sometimes in math, it takes more than just uh, looking at a rule and, and remembering it and applying it. So we're going to use different examples to teach how we can make this rule make sense. So the first way that we're going to do this is by repeated addition. We all love addition and everybody knows how to do addition. We're in third grade. So this should not be scary at all. For repeated addition, Let's say that it's Thanksgiving time and you and your mom are going to make pies to bring to your grandma's house for Thanksgiving. And there are eight adults. Eight aunts and uncles, um, they all love pie. And your mom says, you know what, they love pie so much that they're each going to eat a fourth of the pie. How many pies? How many pies?
ties do we need to make so that eight adults can have a fourth of the cherry pie or strawberry pie or blueberry pie? So let's turn this into a fraction. One out of four. And there's eight adults. So one fourth is going to be eaten eight times by eight adults. So we add, repeat it, one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight times one fourth, that's eight added, that's one fourth added eight times. What is it going to give us? Well, we know how to add fractions. What is the denominator? Raise your hand if you can tell me what the denominator is. Yes, Ames. The denominator is four. Four. Very good. The denominator is the same, so it's four. And then we're going to add 1 plus 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 1. How many ones? Can anybody raise your hand and tell me how what our new numerator will be? Eight. Dominic. Eight. You are right. Eight fourths. Tomorrow we're going to learn how to take this a step farther. A step farther is... Four goes into eight two times, so that means that we need two pies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight adults. Two pies for eight adults because they're all going to be eating a fourth of the pie. 